Today I want to introduce you to my favorite zero waste movies. And when I say zero waste, I mean movies that evolve around how destructive waste can be to our planet and our society at large. So let's get into it. first movie that I really like is called Bag It. And it's basically following a guy's journey with plastic bags. And I found it really, really, really insightful and I highly encourage you to watch it. The second movie is The Clean Bin Project. I believe you can watch it on Vimeo uh, for a couple of dollars. You can buy it or you can lend it. And it's about a couple going zero waste and it follows their journey for a year I believe and it really shows you that zero waste is in fact possible and when I say zero waste I mean reducing one's waste to the bare minimum and it illustrates that beautifully so that's definitely a movie that I would highly recommend if you're thinking about going zero waste because it really shows you that it's totally possible. The third movie is No Impact Man. It's about a man, his wife and his daughter who are living in New York City and for six months they're living with no electricity. They're not using any form of electrical transportation so he's using his bike and they're really taking it to the next level. They're basically trying to reduce their footprint to the bare, 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 bare minimum. It's a brilliant movie. It's also really fun to watch and I think it's an incredible project. So check it out. The next movie on my list is a movie called Just Eat It. And it's about a couple who for six months doesn't buy anything at the store in terms of groceries. And the only dumpster dive in those six months. And what they find in the trash is astounding. It blew my mind. It really shows you how much food not only we as consumers are wasting, but how much food the stores are wasting. So if you're interested in that, it's a must watch. Next movie on my list is Plastic Paradise, which basically shows you how much plastic is in our oceans and how much harm it does to all life in the oceans. And it's really, really eye-opening. And basically, if you don't watch any of those movies, or if you haven't watched any of those movies that I'm talking about, watch Plastic Planet. It really shows you how much damage we have already done, but also that we can, we could potentially still find ways to turn it around. So watch it. The next movie is called Living on One Dollar, and it's about a couple of, well, younger guys who moved to South America for, I believe, a period of a couple of months and they're living on one dollar a day. And they invent a really interesting system. So basically wanted to mirror how the people living there are earning because it fluctuates. Sometimes they're earning something, sometimes they're not. Sometimes you have to survive on $2 for so and so many days. It's a great movie. So especially if you have done the 30 day no spend challenge that has been really well popular on YouTube and I would definitely watch this movie. The last one that I just watched pretty recently is Bottled Life. And it's basically a really insightful movie about the company Nestle. And Nestle is a beverage company as well as food company. 
and they have seventeen brands of water bottle. And apparently, one of the rising stars in their portfolio is a water that's called Pure Life. And there's also Poland Spring, and it basically shows you where they have expanded and how destructive it can be to a local community when such a big brand comes in and basically dominates the water industry. And if you're still drinking bottled water, even though your tap water is absolutely fine, then I would highly encourage you to watch this movie. Because why are people who can drink their tap water paying for bottled water? Tap water is way more regulated than bottled water is. So, what's your opinion on that? What's your opinion on tap water versus bottled water? Do you buy bottled water? And if so, why do you buy bottled water? Personal preference, this is taste. What is it? Because these days, I really can't drink bottled water. I've just, I just really love tap water. So, well, I guess it became a habit. Okay, those were all the movies. I really love all those movies. Some of them have been really fun to watch. Some of them made me quite uncomfortable, not because they were bad movies, but simply because it was so shocking to see what's going on. Oh, and let me know about your favorite movie. I I would love to watch it. And of course, this list is could probably be endless, but I simply wanted to list my favorites. Have a lovely day and see you guys next time. Bye!